welcome to our new segment of the show called Trash or Treasure. Basically, we have watched so many movies for this channel over the years that not all of them are like good enough to do a full review on, but they're still worth talking about. In some cases, it may be not so good, so we'll watch it for you. Because sometimes one man's trash is another's treasure. And today, I guess I am the trash. <laughs> and I'm the treasure. Our first movie in the Trash or Treasure segment is the movie that inspired us to do it in the first place. And that is 1989's The Vineyard. Directed, produced, and written by James Hong. James Hong, as I'm sure everybody knows, is Lo Pan in Big Trouble in Little China. He's been in tons of movies, tons of TV shows, usually token Asian guy. <laughs> yeah. And he was in Seinfeld. Seinfeld for Cartwright! <laughs> he yelled Cartwright. Who's Cartwright? I'm Cartwright. You're not Cartwright. I know I'm not Cartwright! Cartwright? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The movie starts off with James Hong with his... Uh, you know, his beautiful trophy wife. Of course. And, um, yeah, he's kind of seducing her a little bit, and they're in bed, and, try, you know, he's trying to get it on with her. She gets on top of him and stabs him, and he wakes up out of a dream. All of a sudden, he starts transforming. You see his face <laughs> kind of starting to... Yeah, starts to all bubble up. He makes his way down into the basement. You see all this lab equipment set up. And these women all and chained all these up. women chained up. He's using all of this to create a potion for himself to stay young. James Hong is Dr. Poe, and uh, he's a famous winemaker, and he's also a movie producer as well. <laughs> Man of all trades, <laughs> black magic, movie yeah. producer, winemaker. <laughs> he has a group of kids that are coming to his island. Of course he has an island. The group of kids are coming to his island to audition for a movie that he's making. There's no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> no nothing. You wouldn't even really know. But before they start auditioning, they have to have a party. Costume <laughs> party? <laughs> yeah. And James Hong, he's all doing some sick dance and like some mask. Some cold mask. <laughs> oh! Oh! Then the mask breaks. It's a mother weird face underneath. And then he takes that off. No! It's all a big joke. It's right? a big party trick. <laughs> So some couple, you know, wanders off and the girl trips over something and she claims a body that was kind of like buried underneath the earth and nobody believes her. Then later on we see that, yeah, there is bodies buried. They start rising from the grave at night and Dr. Paul to kind of say some sort of chant and throw this mat oh. <laughs> sacred earth they on the zombies to Put too. them back in the ground. <laughs> Dr. Post starts killing off some of these kids using his black magic. He does acupuncture and one guy early Earlier on in the day, you just let some stranger give you acupuncture. <laughs> you like the acupuncture? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, oh, that oh. feels great. Oh yeah. I've had acupuncture. It doesn't work like that <laughs> at all. Do the acupuncture in your balls? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, that feels great. Oh, I just love that. Then later on at night, like the needles start yeah. coming like out of his body and he kills him. He also starts kidnapping some of the women to take down to his dungeon. In the meantime, there's this Brandon Lee looking guy who starts <laughs> uncovering some stuff and he finds these newspapers. He also uncovers an old lady that's like in this <laughs> attic. In the meantime, there's these flashbacks to like ancient China. Dr. Poe wants to marry the main girl Jezebel and the remaining surviving kids have to try to stop this ceremony. That's kind of how the movie ends. <laughs> right. So we're going to start off by mentioning what we thought was good about the movie and what was possibly redeeming What's the treasure of this movie? <laughs> James Hong, for one. He's the only good actor in the movie. He's the only notable yeah. person in this movie, because without James Hong, this movie would really be nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not even mentioning, like, yeah. the fact that he put up the money for it and everything. Yeah. It'd really be nothing. The effects are okay. They're actually yeah. pretty decent, like, when uh, the zombies look okay. Yeah, the zombies look pretty cool, actually. The effects effect of those needles coming out of the guy's neck look pretty good. Mm -hmm. When he's using that black magic and he's uh, putting all those bugs on that woman's face yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. They're real bugs, yeah. you know, so that's pretty cool. And when he starts getting old and all decrepit mm -hmm. and he's like, ah! Ah! Original? Yeah. It's just that there is way too much shoved into one damn movie. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like a 
It's like a dinner, right? With yeah. too many things on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of these concepts are just sort of thrown in and not one of them is really done overly well. He's making the potion out of the amulet. Yeah. And there's the zombies coming out of the yeah. ground. And then the woman upstairs is like making them rise. Yeah, and he's got to put them back. Yeah, like... yeah. And you, you have to assume why the zombies are even there to begin with. Yeah, right? like why, why are there people buried in the backyard? I don't know. Like, if they're going to rise up and bug you, just put them somewhere yeah, else. Exactly. Take them off your island. <laughs> yeah. And then there's the flashbacks. What the fuck is going on? And the flashbacks are not good. No. <laughs> like, doesn't really explain anything. Like, the one warrior guy has the am amulet. Yeah. But what? How? What? <laughs> what? Why did you... Just this amulet. I want my amulet. <laughs> the editing is horrible. Dr. Poe is like in the basement making a potion at nighttime. And then suddenly he's like walking in these gardens at daytime. Then it yeah. cuts again and he's in his bedroom and he's in these robes. And then he's out in the gardens again. Yeah. Like in the editing room, they're just like this scene, <laughs> this scene. The dialogue for this movie is so cheesy. <laughs> so too, horrible. It it's, yeah. wasn't done very like. The, the writing for the characters are awful. Even James Hong, like all of his mumbo-jumbo black magic, he's always yeah. yelling at the gods. Gardner or whatever is like screwing, screwing his, his wife. wife. Yeah. <laughs> and so he tells one of his henchmen to get rid of him. So the guy comes upstairs. Dr. Poe says you can take a vacation permanently. They all start fighting Ooh. with all this karate. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and it's horrible. It's a horrible I, fight scene. And I thought that that was part of the movie he was making. As in, a movie producer. The, yeah. yeah. Because it's so bad and cheesy. I was expecting somebody to say cut. Cut, yeah. But it, no, this yeah. is really yeah. happening. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. I was like, did they like accidentally put the rehearsal in the movie <laughs> instead of the actual take they were supposed to use? Oh, and it's all embarrassing to watch. <laughs> you can like, see all oh, the mats like <laughs> under the under the gravel. And the movie just has this sleazy vibe which kind of rubs you the wrong way. Like it makes you feel a little like awkward watching it because Right. Well James Hong obviously James Hong, right? it's... took some liberties there because he was producing it and everything. <laughs> and so you know, because it produced by James Hong. Directed by James Hong, starring <laughs> James Hong. And the first scene is James Hong like, yeah. You like that you baby? Like that baby? Yeah. <laughs> then going on into those dungeons and like groping those women yeah. and slapping them. Yeah, all and he's the all time. kissing them <laughs> and everything. Violently. <laughs> Like, James uh, Hong, like, you know, uh, yeah, it's a little obvious what you're... Uh... Back it up to just a tad here. <laughs> so it's pretty disappointing because, no, we love James Hong, and he's in some great stuff, and I was all excited. Oh, God, James Hong did this horror movie. It's yeah. got to be good. It's got to be yeah. great. And it's like, oh... Yeah, this is... The Vineyard, we watched it, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. <laughs> we both going to rate this movie... Trash. trash but if you want to watch james hong grope some women <laughs> and watch some shitty mustache guys have some bad fight scenes yeah then check it out <laughs> other than that till next time keep drinking <laughs>